Hi, this is Pip Payne. Welcome to this Bring Your Own Laptop tutorial. Today we're going to learn about leading, creating a starburst, and exporting PDFs with InDesign CC. Open up your document and make sure your environment is set to Essentials. The work I've done up to now has all been created in other tutorials. The first thing we're going to look at is leading. So if I double click on my text box so the, the flashing cursor appears, I can then select the text. Notice I have a context menu up the top. One is character, one is paragraph. So to start with, let's have a look at the leading of this text here, which at the moment is 43. Notice I can increase it or decrease it here. If I want to change the spacing between paragraphs, I prefer to go down to space after, which is just here. And here I can add more space or take space away. OK, now I'm going to lock this layer because I don't want the next thing I'm going to do to be interfered with by any other elements that are on it. And what we're going to do now, the next big thing, is to create a starburst with our polygon tool. Notice there, are, uh, if I double click on my star polygon tool, I've got a number of sides and a star inset. Let's have a look at what happens when I create that. You see, I now have a number of sides, which gives me the 50, and the inset gives me that piece there. I can now fill that with a nice cheeky little orange and possibly resize it make it a little bit smaller I'll bring it on the page and if I want to add text it's simply a matter of clicking inside the box going to my text frame options and hitting center that brings the object down to the center of the page and if I now center it here you'll see it's cursing the blinker is uh, the cursor is blinking right there and if I go sail on now and increase it with control shift greater than a few times we can see that the type is within this graphic so you don't have to have a text box and a graphic last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it, transform, rotate by a cheeky 15 degrees. That's okay. I'm happy with that. Very nice. Let's preview it with W and again back to layout view. I'm now going to export it to PDF. I'm going to go file, export and call it GG Flyer and I might call it GG Flyer 1. So this is for print so I'm going to go save and for print I will need crop marks and a bleed setting of about three millimeters and export and away it goes and that brings us to the end of the bring your own laptop tutorial on looking at leading and creating a starburst and exporting to PDF within design CC